Hi, this demonstration is for students who are fairly new in their first book and just learning about time signatures. And specifically, I wanna talk about how to tell by listening whether something is in a 3-4 or a 4-4 time signature. So it's easy if you're looking to tell, you can just count how many beats are in each measure. But if you're listening, you don't have anything to focus on with your eyes. You just have to use your ears. So the first thing you need to know is that music has accents. And an accent is a note that is emphasized more than others by making it louder. That's what that means. It's louder. Um, and these accents create patterns in the rhythm of the music, which feel different. Music with three beats per measure has a strong beat on beat one, and then two and three get a little bit weaker. So it's like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, that kind of pattern. Um, and you can dance to that, right? It feels like a waltz. You can sway one, two, three, like that, but you can't walk to it, and that is important. Music that's in fours, on the other hand, has that same strong beat on one. It has an accent on one, but you also have a secondary accent on beat three, which means beat three also feels strong. So you have a pattern of strong, weak, strongish, weak. And this feels like a march, right? We call four, four march time sometimes. So it's like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That you can walk to. Um, and it feels more natural, right? When we first start out, pretty much everything is in fours because it feels natural. It's easy to follow because we are walkers. We are a walking species. Uh, so I'm going to play some examples for you, and I want you to listen for those patterns, see if it feels like a dance or more like a march, something you can walk to. And the dead giveaway, the easiest way to tell whether it's in three or four, is just to try to count along, right? If you can count along in three and it feels comfortable and easy, it's a three. If you can count along in four and it works, it feels comfortable, it's a four. If you're trying the wrong one, it will feel like you're trying to fit a square peg into a round hole, right? It will not fit very well. Um, so first example I'm gonna do is Ode to Joy. to really emphasize those accents there. Hopefully you have an idea right now what it was, and I will tell you it is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. You can march to that, right? You can walk to that. So that is an easy one. I'm moving my book, for example. All right, so now I'm gonna do a little bit of mourning, which is another famous tune. with that one. Um, so hopefully you got three. That was the answer because this one is in groups of three. One, two, three, 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 like that. All right, I'm looking for another good example. Okay, London Symphony. Listen for whether you can count along in three or in four. What did you get? It was a four. That's one you can march to, right? Bum, 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 bum. It feels like back and forth like that. All right, so I'm looking for another one. This one is a horn call by Mozart. So kind of a fast three on that one. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, like that. So hopefully that helped you use your ear to tell whether you're hearing groups of three beats or four beats.